Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan Jarris. I am a mom of two boys. I'm a military spouse and I'm also an Etsy shop owner of six years with over a million dollars in sales and we average three to $400,000 a year in sales. Um, and I'm also going to be start doing consulting and coaching. Uh, so if you're interested in building an Etsy shop or maybe you have one and you're looking to see how to make big time money, um, I'd love to help you. Our channel here is all focused on how to make more money on Etsy. I'm going to guess you would love for Etsy to be more than a hobby or a little business. I'm going to show how to use my tactics that I'm currently using and that I have used to build our shop to this multi six figure level. And today I'm going to talk to you about how I sold over half a million dollars of one item on Etsy. One of the biggest mistakes that I see Etsy sellers making is trying to be everything to everyone. They're spreading themselves too thin. They're trying to touch in a bazillion different categories. Their shop appears as if there's not really a focus or a strong brand identity. As they say, a foot deep and a mile wide. Now that is one strategy, but that is not the strategy as a one person shop to take you to millions of dollars. Unless you have a huge team of employees, trying to go a foot deep and a mile wide is going to be exhausting. And if you are exhausted for too long with your Etsy shop, you're likely going to just fizzle out. Because every time you launch a product, you have to write the description, you have to think of how to market to this new category, you have to take all the good photos, you have to introduce your customers to it on your social media. Every time you introduce a new product, it is really time consuming. It takes a lot of time and effort to not only create it, but to get that traction. We want to spend our time and effort making money, improving our profit not dabbling in everything just so that we can have our hand in a bunch of different areas. If you have a hundred different categories on Etsy that you are trying to build and establish yourself in, your efforts are going to be extremely diluted and you're not going to be effective in any of them. So maybe you're thinking, well, that's okay. I don't need to be the market leader. I just want to try to make some money. If you're trying to make a lot of money on Etsy, the best way to do that is to become a market leader. The shops that do $300,000, $400,000 a year, a million dollars a year, they are market leaders. Once you become the leader of a product or a market on Etsy, it is going to be so much easier to maintain your position and maintain your daily sales. It's almost going to be effortless. The sales will just come to you because you've gained that momentum and that inertia keeps you going. You'll find that you can coast a lot more and you don't need to be making daily tweaks or weekly tweaks to your listings. You don't need to be working on the front end, updating the listings, the descriptions, the tags. You'll find that it runs itself and you can focus on production and meeting the demand. Another reason why it's worth it to focus on becoming a market leader is because you'll be able to charge a premium for your items. You've built credibility in your category and the customers have spoken. They are choosing you. They want your items, your brand, your customer shopping experience. When this happens, you'll notice that you can raise your prices and customers are not as price sensitive. Think of it like Apple computers. They own the market. They can raise their prices $100, $200, $300, and customers are still going to shop with them. They want the Apple product, the Apple brand, the Apple customer experience. When you own the market, you can pull different levers with pricing and really increase your margins. You might think this sounds great and all, but how am I supposed to do that? Well, we took one item and we made over half a million dollars with this one idea. And there are two essential keys to this. The first key is customization. You're going to have a listing photo and the set of photos in that listing are all, all going to be different examples of variations you have made of that item. So think different size, different color scheme, different font, different thickness, different material but the same type of item. Being able to customize things will really increase the conversion rate and it will also allow you to charge a premium because you can offer customers exactly what they want, even if they don't see it in the main photo. So with this, make sure that you utilize all the variations on Etsy. Change the prices for the variations. You're also going to include that personalization text box when you create your listing. So that sounds like, okay, I have a listing with a bunch of different examples of that item in it, now what? Every single time a customer orders that item, you are going to take impeccable photos and video of it before you package it for shipment. You are going to take lifestyle photos. You're gonna take photos of it with different backgrounds, different textures, different angles. You're going to do some close-ups. You're gonna show the texture. Some photos will show how it's used. 
even if the customer ordered it to look just like the listing photo and you think, I don't need to take a picture of this. Yes, you do. Take a picture of it in a different way. Try to take a better picture of it. Each photo becomes a brand new listing. And there's a really easy way to just copy your listings. You're essentially duplicating them. And you can look this up, just Google how to copy Etsy listing, super simple. And eventually you will have 100 listings of just one item. You might think this seems redundant. And no, it's not. No, it's not because each listing is going to be extremely targeted towards either a unique customer or a unique purpose. So while each listing is of the same item, you're going to change the titles, the tags, and the keywords of each one. I recommend for time's sake having the same exact description for each one, but there can be one sentence at the top of the description. So it's very easy for you to edit. And that one sentence is going to encapsulate the unique keywords that you are using in the title and the tags. On Etsy, it really matters that the keywords from the title and the tags are also found in the description. And that's going to make your listing much stronger in the search results. So while they all have the same description, there's one sentence that you adjust for each listing. So for example, let's say you make name signs. You're going to end up with a hundred different listings with name signs. Now the first part is you allow that to be customized. So in the listing, you're going to have different variations. You're going to have size, you're going to have font, you can have color, you could have thickness of the material, you could have the number of letters or characters on the sign. Now number two, you are going to make those listings extremely targeted. So example one, you might say high school graduation gift, college graduation gift, gift for teenager, gift for young adult, congratulations gift, gift for her, gift for him. Example two, you might have first birthday party decor, birthday girl party decor, birthday boy party decor, toddler birthday party, birthday photo shoot decor, cake smash photo shoot decor, rustic party decor, birthday party sign, birthday party decor sign, cake smash sign, toddler birthday name, baby name sign, kids room sign. Now example three, you might say, wedding reception decor, decor for wedding, wedding name sign, sign wedding last name, last name decor, wedding gift sign, wedding cake table decor. That's just an example how you can take one type of item, a sign with a name or some words on it and make a bazillion different listings out of it. And that is exactly how we took one item and turned that one item into half a million dollars in revenue. If you are trying to think of what that one item could be, I do have a process for choosing a profitable item that is recession proof. If you are stumped on what that item could be, I would love to talk to you. You can find me on Instagram at Dylan Jarris, or you can message me here. Um, I'm always available and I'm really excited to help more people make their shop as successful as ours have been. Um, it's really life-changing when you are starting to make three to $400,000 a year. When you get over that million dollar mark, everything becomes easier. That's all I have to say about that. Um, and I would love to help you get to that point if you are determined to get there. It's definitely not easy. Um, it's a ton of hard work on the front end, but once you really put in the work and be consistent and follow the tactics and tips that I have, I know that you can get there too. So I hope to see you back here for my next video um, or come find me on Instagram and I'd love to chat more about what you are trying to do in your shop.